Today on Arts for Life Virtual Studio, we'll be creating a monster mouth. Stay tuned and I'll tell you everything you need to make one. Let's get creating! Hi everyone! My name is Kara and I'm the art teacher at Mission Hospital with Arts for Life in Asheville, North Carolina. Today, we are going to have our virtual studio where we believe that art is for everyone. So welcome. We are going to make monster mouths today inspired by artist Greg Mike. Greg Mike is a contemporary mural artist and a painter who lives in Atlanta, Georgia. He's inspired by classic mid-century cartoons, surrealist pop art, and skater culture. In addition to having paintings in galleries, Greg Mike's bright murals can be seen across the United States, around the world, in downtown Atlanta, under highway overpasses, at outdoor picnic areas, across bridges, in hotel lobbies, and there is even a whole house in Atlanta painted with one of his murals. Greg believes in speaking up for what you believe in and living loudly. So he created a character named Larry Loudmouth, who Greg says speaks the truth and is the voice of many. Larry Loudmouth can be found on murals and billboards saying what's important. There's even a contest at the website gregmike.com called Loudmouth Says, where you can submit your ideas. If your message is chosen, it may appear on a billboard and on stickers. Through Larry Loudmouth's billboards, people have said things about racial equity like love over hate. Others have said things about staying healthy during the pandemic like wash your hands. Some remind us to be strong by saying rise up. Today, you're going to make your own monster mouth inspired by Larry Loudmouth. Think about how you would like yours to look and especially think about what you would like to say loudly. If you are at one of Arts for Life's partner hospitals and you have a monster mouth kit, you're all set with materials. For everyone else, here are the materials that you'll need today. You will need construction paper in different colors, including black, white cardstock, scissors, a glue stick, a black marker, and you may want some tape so that you can change out the speech bubbles. All right, I'll meet you in the overhead and I will show you how to make it. All right, here we are ready to make some monster mouths. Once again, if you are in one of our partner hospitals, you may have a kit that has everything you need. It would have uh, scraps of construction paper, little speech bubble, um, a glue stick, and everything should be pre-cut for you and ready to go. For everyone else, what you will need will be some scraps of assorted construction paper. Be sure to have the color black. We'll need that for the mouth. You will also need a piece of thick white paper. This is cardstock. Any thick white paper will do. You will also need scissors. If you are a little kid, small scissors would work and be sure to ask an adult if you need help. We've also got some tape and a glue stick and a black marker. With all those things, you'll be ready to go. So first what you'll do is make a big square. Um, this is going to be the head of your monster. So any size actually would work. Um, so go ahead and cut out a square out of your construction paper. And a little bit smaller than that, you'll need a little rectangle or square of black construction paper. This is going to be the mouth. We will also need some scraps of paper like pink or red, and you can make a tongue. A tongue is just going to be a couple of bumps drawn onto there and cut out. We've also got some assorted shapes out of the white cardstock. Little humps that you can cut from the edge or circles. And then the trickiest shape we have is a speech bubble. So that's like a big circle 
with a little V on the edge of it. So you'll cut that out too. Feel free to pause if you need to go ahead and cut those pieces out. And for everyone else, um, we will go ahead and get started gluing. So your monster can be any color that you like and it can have any features that you like. The cool thing with monsters is they can like have three eyes, they can have four eyes, they can have two eyes like us. We've got a big square here for the mouth because this is a monster that's speaking up. It's saying something really loudly. And then you can grab your tongue if you have it pre-cut. If not, just grab any color you could use. You could use red or yellow, pink, blue, just anything you could think of. All right, glue the tongue down. It already looks like it's kind of yelling. <laughs> All right, and then the teeth don't need to match. That's what's fun with monsters. We can have, you can lay them out first and then glue them down. Maybe a couple of sharp teeth on the bottom. Um, if you have some little humps glued, you can glue those on the top. And glue, on it, glue a middle tooth. They don't have to have teeth just like us. So let's try those. And you can put the glue either on the back of the teeth or just where you're going to put them. It will dry clear. That is a silly mouth. Have you started to think about what your monster's gonna say? I bet there's something really important to you that you would love to speak up about. All right, then we can put eyes just anywhere. You can slant them for different expressions, make them go in. You can make it scary, you can make it funny. Let's see where I want mine. I think I want mine slanted out a little bit because it really looks like it's yelling then. Put plenty of glue. You can also add features like eyelashes, eyebrows, bow ties, noses. I bet you can think of all kinds of things. My monster looks like it really wants to say something. Then here are my example ones. You can do the eyes in different ways, circles, little arches, um, you can do squares inside, little stars. I might put a star for this one. Let's see what that looks like. Whoa, that's kind of, kind of fun. Maybe a circle for this one. Awesome. Okay. So yeah, like I said, you can add anything else that you'd like. If you want to take scraps of paper, you can cut little features out. Like if you want any eyelids to go over the eyes, anything that you think of that you can, can do. And if you have a kit, just see what else is in there and just play. I think I'm ready for my speech bubble. So you can glue it on anywhere. The reason that we have tape is just in case you want to change what your monster says, you can tape it on. But mine, I'm going to say, fight sickle cell. Sickle cell is a disease that some kids have that they have to um, take really extra good care of themselves and see a doctor. And 
some of our kids that are in the hospital, maybe you live with sickle cell. And it just is something that people fight very hard to try to live a normal life with. So I just wanted my monster to say, hey, let's get on top of this. Let's do our best and let's remember the people that have sickle cell. You could ask an adult about it or look it up on the internet if you don't know about it. All right, I think my monster is ready. And now my monster has some other friends. There we go. There's some examples. I hope you're having fun with yours and I'll see you in just a second. Thank you for tuning in to the Arts for Life virtual studio. I hope that you enjoyed creating with me today. Here are some finished monster mouths that I made. Yours is going to be unique and awesome. And if you'd like to show us what yours looks like, you can tag us at Arts for Life NC. And remember, art is for everyone. See you soon.